Yo, what is up guys, Pungus here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video, and as you can see, we are once again in a different setting than we normally are for my videos, uh, usually you guys just see the gameplay, and I talk over it, but today I'm going to be doing something like a little bit different, uh, different from my channel at least, you guys have for sure seen this before on um, other people's channels, but basically I'm going to be playing, doing a live comm today, uh, what basically happened was I was team scrimming really late tonight, and um, you know, I realized that you know I didn't have a video already like set out to like have today, and I'm going on like a school field trip tomorrow, and I got to be up early for it, so I can't really like stay up really late making one. So I thought, all right, let's do a commentary, and I decided to talk about Black Ops 3, which was uh, announced I think yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Today is the the tenth, and uh, so yeah, it was announced yesterday, which was uh, the 9th of April. Yeah, I don't even know my own. I don't even know what day it is, guys. But yeah, so uh, Black Ops 3 got announced, uh, basically Treyarch said, yeah, we're going to come back for another game, something called Black Ops 3, which is really cool, because everyone loved Black Ops 2, so you can only imagine that Black Ops 3 will be really similar, I just got destroyed, uh, to Black Ops 2. Uh, obviously, I think they're going to like kind of stay intact with the whole futuristic theme, a lot of people thought that they were going to go back to like World War 2 era, and uh, not really have as much futuristic stuff, like in Advanced Warfare, we obviously had exo, uh, exosuits, and uh, really advanced stuff like laser guns. And I think that uh, Black Ops 3 will also be um, a little futuristic. I know some people didn't really want that. They wanted there to be, uh, you know, more old-timey stuff because people were getting tired of the futuristic stuff over and over and over again. But honestly, I'm excited. You know, they say that there will not be double jumping in Black Ops 3, and I believe them. Um, I think Charlie Intel. It's basically a website that kind of gets, um, you know, little news is like news about the next Call of Duty and present Call of Duty about patches, stuff like that. And around the time of when a new Call of Duty comes out, Charlie Intel becomes very active. And they basically, apparently, I guess like Treyarch told them or they found out that uh, there will not be double jumping. And uh, in the next Call of Duty, and uh, I was pretty excited about that. I personally like double jumping right now, but it is getting a little bit old. I gotta say, you know, it's fun, but I don't really feel that it's Call of Duty. You know, it, it, I mean, obviously, it feels like Call of Duty, but there's something about double jumping and boosting around that isn't that doesn't really remind me of a classic COD. You know. You guys may disagree, but you know, for me, a classic COD, you know, you can't boost, you can't jump, you know, there's no lasers that you're shooting out of a gun, you know, it's just classic COD, you got classic weapons, and you know, the regular jump shot, I'm getting destroyed in this game right now, and um, you know, I just kind of want to go back to that, and apparently there will no longer be double jumps, but what there will be is like regular boosting back and forth with your EXO, so what they're thinking is that there's going to be like boosting to the left and to the right with your EXO like you can do right now, but what you basically just can't do is double jump. So I'm going to kind of show it off right here. So instead of being able to you know, double jump like that, you can boost to the left and to the right, maybe front and back, I don't know. But this kind of interests me a little bit more because the double jumping was, you know, this is a really big part of what makes me think that it doesn't really feel like Call of Duty. And the reason for that is, you know, Call of Duty, you're always like climbing up ladders and you're trying to like outsmart the other team, but you know, you're pretty slow, so you got to do it fast and quick. In Advanced Warfare, you know, outsmarting the team just basically means jumping in a certain direction and hoping you get lucky. You know, there's not really a way that they can trap you in a certain area because it's so easy to get out. And uh, one thing I really did like about the Exosuits, though, is like how crazy the World Stars were. And you guys probably, you know, you guys get me on that. You're getting shot in the back, you slide, double jump, turn around, just destroy them. But there's also something about that kind of makes it cheap, you know? Like some people, they may have a scuff or they may not. And if someone has a scuff and you don't, it's going to be much harder to win that gunfight. And so for other people, it's really cheap. And so for Advanced Warfare, it was really hard for some people to, you know, compete because they didn't have scuffs. And, uh, you know, I was hoping a new card wouldn't be have double. Oh, wow. Oh, slay out, slay out. Oh, no. I died. But I was really hoping that the new COD just wouldn't have exosuits, you know? Like, I wanted to go back to the regular COD where, you know, you, like, run up for a pre-snipe and you get it and you have to, like, switch weapons and run away, not, you know, a pre-snipe and then you double jump and all of a sudden you're halfway across the map and they can't find you. You know, I don't really like that. And, um, so now that Black Ops 3 is announced and there's will be no double jumping, I'm kind of excited, you know? I really want to see, you know, how Treyarch, you know, develops these maps, first of all, because... You know, like a maps with no double jumping, you know, you have those you gotta design. Then you add in double jumping to the mix, and, um, you know, the design changes a little bit. And then you add in boosting left and right to the mix, and it changes a little bit as well. So now we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take away double jumping. So basically, the maps have to be, like, longer or bigger, I guess. But instead of having, like, really high up buildings, it'll be lower, because you can't double jump. So I'm kind of wondering what those maps will look like, you know, and so I'm really excited to see, but obviously, you know, we got some time to wait. Uh, I'm still liking Advanced Warfare, though, right now. Like, I'm not bored by any means, uh, but, you know, I am getting excited. You know, I want to see the trailer, which is coming out on the 26th, I believe, of April, so I'm excited for that, and I hope you guys are too, but, you know, other than that, there's not really much else that's going on in terms of Black Ops 3 news. 
And to be honest, I'm kind of okay with this, you know, because, you know, around the time where a new Call of Duty gets announced, people stop thinking that the old COD is just bad, you know? Like, things that people think are bad about the new COD just start becoming more and more exaggerated, and uh, people are like, oh, this next COD is the best, so old COD is the worst, and that's how it is. And usually, you know, this comes after COD Champs, you know, people are preparing for COD Champs for an entire year, and when it's gone, you know, people don't really find anything to work for. Obviously, there's a lot of events that are going to be happening for the rest of the year, but these events are worth a lot less than Call of Duty Champs, so, you know, preparing for them is not as important. Teams aren't going to put in that much work. Um, a lot of teams are tweeting out, like, yay, now we can finally do S&D tournaments, because COD Champs is over. And it kind of sucks, but, you know, that's just how it is. People get excited, you know, Call of Duty, although it comes out year to year, people still get pretty bored of it. Uh, to be quite frank, you know, it can be really fun at first, and you know, for some people it's fun the entire way through. Like, personally, I like cause the entire way through. Um, you know, I obviously get excited like everyone else, but, um, you know, I really don't get bored like everyone else either. Uh, especially, like, in Call of Duty Ghosts, everyone hated that game for some reason, and for me, it was just never really the case. You know, I didn't necessarily love it, but I definitely didn't hate it. But I want to hear what you guys think. You know, what are you expecting in the next Call of Duty? What do you want? What do you not want? Do you guys want exosuits? Do you not want exosuits? Do you think that, like, futuristic guns are cool? Do you not like futuristic guns? Do you wish that they had just gone, like, World War II all together and not gone with the futuristic theme? You know, did you, did you like Advanced Warfare? Do you like the exosuits in general? You know, did you like them, but maybe you, like, you know, you want a break, you want to go back to Classic Cod, you know, you're kind of like me. You know, I want to hear what you guys think. Put down in the comment section below, like, kind of what you're thinking, what your predictions are for Black Ops 3. That sounds so cool saying. PO3, Black Ops 3. But, uh, you know, I'm just overall really excited. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy this new style of, you know, video making that I'm doing right now. Uh, if you do enjoy it, I'll for sure do more. I'm kind of still, you know, experimenting with this new streaming equipment. Uh, obviously, I'm not streaming right now. I'm making a video. But it kind of works the same way. So, I'm still kind of experimenting with it. And I'm still, you know, I can make it easier to make videos too. So, it's really, you know, helpful both ways. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.